Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we will present the history of Mozart's Symphony No. 41. Symphony No. 41 in C major, K551, also known as the Jupiter Symphony, stands as one of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's crowning achievements in the realm of classical music. Composed in the summer of 1788, it was the last of his symphonies and a testament to his remarkable musical genius. Mozart was living in Vienna at the time, a city bustling with artistic and intellectual fervor. Despite the financial challenges he faced, he remained dedicated to his craft. The composition of Symphony No. 41 coincided with a period of prolific creativity, during which he also wrote several of his other renowned works. Mozart's Symphony No. 41 is notable for its grandeur and complexity, featuring a large orchestra that includes strings, woodwinds, brass, and timpani. The symphony is divided into four movements. Allegro Vivace, the symphony opens with a burst of energy, introducing the main thematic material that will be developed throughout the movement. The lively melodies and intricate counterpoint showcase Mozart's mastery of form and structure. Andante Cantabile, the second movement transitions to a more serene and lyrical mood. It features a beautiful melody that is passed among the different sections of the orchestra, creating a sense of unity and balance. Menuetto Allegretto, the third movement is a minuet and trio, a traditional dance form of the time. Mozart infuses it with his signature charm, incorporating playful rhythms and elegant melodies. Molto Allegro, the final movement is a tour de force that exemplifies Mozart's genius. The term Jupiter Symphony was likely not coined by Mozart himself, but accurately captures the symphony's majestic and exuberant nature. The movement is characterized by its intricate contrapuntal writing, where multiple melodies interweave seamlessly, demonstrating Mozart's extraordinary skill in handling complex musical textures. The Jupiter Symphony is a remarkable fusion of innovation and tradition. Mozart employed sophisticated compositional techniques, including contrapuntal writing and intricate thematic development, while staying true to the classical symphonic structure. The symphony's nickname, Jupiter, reflects its lofty and awe-inspiring qualities, often associated with the Roman god of the same name. Despite its brilliance, Symphony No. 41 did not gain widespread recognition during Mozart's lifetime, and he never had the opportunity to hear it performed by a full orchestra. However, its significance and influence grew in the following centuries, solidifying its place as one of Mozart's most celebrated works. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.